Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Okay, so this is part five of the character modeling series where we will do some tightening up on the clothing and then on to UV unwrapping. I would save another copy of the file as we will start applying some modifiers which cannot be reversed. So it's always handy to have a backup in these instances. So I found that the collar on the vest is actually creating problems when I go to apply the solidify modifier. So I'm gonna take it off for now and then add one in after we apply the solidify modifier. I have a couple of subdivision modifiers from before on the mesh that as you'll see when we go to apply the modifiers it creates a mesh that is dense in vertices. This makes UV unwrapping a little bit more difficult. You also notice that when I applied the solidify modifier that it creates faces and geometry on the inside of the model here. This also makes UV unwrapping more difficult. Typically for UV unwrapping and posing, as we'll do later, you want lower polygon meshes. So to make our lives easier, I'm going to undo all of that and then remove the subdivision modifiers. And then on the solidify modifier, we're going to tick the box only rim. Now apply all of the modifiers that you have left. Add in a multi-resolution to smooth it all out a bit. And then we tab back into edit mode. You'll notice the mesh is still low poly and that there are no faces on the inside either. Okay, going to add in a collar now again. Now with the multi-resolution modifier on, I'm going to start tightening up the clothing a bit through more sculpting. I'm going to start with the crease brush and then holding control with the same brush to create a sort of pinch or ridge. And then come in with the scrape brush underneath to get a more stylized look. Speeding up the video here as I do much of the same crease brush, inverted crease brush, and scrape brush to flatten.
Okay, so going to do the same thing to the sleeves. Remove the subdivision modifiers from before. And then on the solidify modifier, I'm going to tick the only rim option. Then apply all modifiers. Then more sculpting. I'll do this same method on the rest of the mesh. Okay, now into UV unwrapping. Going to the UV editing tab, going to select the vest, and then I'm going to go around the mesh, selecting loops where a crease would naturally occur in the clothing. This can be around the sleeves, the neck, and down the middle, for instance. Then press Control E and select Mark Seam. Then press U, select Live Unwrap, and then press U again, and then select Unwrap. You'll see on the left you have the unwrapped mesh now. Now go up to the top and create a new UV grid.
Don't forget to select the UV grid option in the generated type pull-down. Now go over to the shader editor and add in a image texture node and then select your newly created UV grid image. These squares show how your textures will look. You generally want them to be aligned evenly throughout the model with minimal stretching. Any stretching of the squares you see here will show up in your textures later. Now going to the sleeves to do the same thing and then onto the rest of the model. With Live Unwrap on, each time you add a seam, it will automatically re-unwrap your model for you, which makes things a little bit easier. Generally, on any cylinders, you want to have a line going down the length of the cylinder or you'll see some stretching. You can see as I add a line down the length of the arm, the UV grid tightens up.
Okay, so everything is unwrapped now. Now to fit it all onto one UV map. We will select all the objects, tab into edit mode, and then press A to select all. Then in the UV menu, you can select Pack Islands, and it will automatically make sure they don't overlap. Now I didn't do the previous step entirely correct, so I need to do a little bit of cleanup here. Generally, the bigger the squares, the lower the resolution is. So on big items like the vest and the face, for instance, you typically want higher resolution for better detail. And on things like the eyebrows, you probably don't need much resolution. So I spent some time resizing some of the things and moving them around so they fit on the UV map without overlapping. Okay, so there you have it. The UV unwrapping stage is done. Next, we will do some light texture painting. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope it helped, and see you in the next one.